Hey guys, and welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupenders. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, those of you who came and checked out the live stream on Pixonic's Facebook page today. Um, I was hoping to have time to advertise that a little bit more beforehand, but I started a new job and I've had like like 50 or so hour weeks. And so, yeah, doing anything uh, extra like that has, has been, uh, it's been tricky. So, uh, yeah, just, so just trying to settle into a new schedule, but we're still planning on doing uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, and then um, we'll be doing <clears throat> the occasional Saturday and test server stuff like that. I'm not sure about, come on, <laughs> it's like sliding down that tiny little hill there. Um, I'm not sure uh, how it'll work uh, right now because I'm working most Saturdays, so I'm not sure how much time I'll get on the test servers, but as much as I can, um, I'll do that. Otherwise, I think I'll, I'll just start posting my opinion about stuff on my Facebook page uh, that it's being tested on the test server, so definitely keep an eye out for that. So <clears throat> this is a subscriber request off of the, the aphid uh, Tehran Griffin uh, video. Someone asked if I could do, I forgot what they called this. It was like a, it was like a punish brawlino or something like that, but uh, a rhino running all punishers. And so I, I took off over here to this side of the map. Um, my hope is that I'll be able to use this hill for cover a little bit um, and once I, so th these clips take like forever to run out. <laughs> so it'd be kind of nice if they did implement that uh, fast fire rate that they were testing so long ago. I wish they would still do that. Um, but I'll use this hill for cover and stuff and then I'm hoping to draw people this way um, with this. This is my first round with it, so I guess we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it in for a few rounds. When I get requests like this, I'll usually run it several times. You know, maybe get a look at it on different maps and stuff and then it also depends on my um, on my live commentary if it sucks or not too. That also depends on if I'll keep the video or not. Um, sometimes I get a little tongue-tied and stuff. Yeah, you know, more than usual. Let's, this guy, he should melt pretty quick, especially at this range. So, alright, so he's done. He was still able to deal like 30k damage to us though before that. That's the nice thing about rockets is that the damage is dealt so fast. I just want to get over here so that uh, I can get a better angle at closer range with uh, all my stuff on this guy. Oh, I'm missing a Punisher. I didn't even see that pop off. <laughs> oh, that guy got wrecked. Oh, Prototype WR. That blue guy on my team that just took him out. Um, I swear he just commented on a video recently or something like that. Or I don't know. You'll have to let me know. If you're if you're watching this video and you know that's you, then <laughs> drop a comment and let me know. Um, it just sounds super familiar. So anyway, so dropping into this guy. Um, I, I just bought this after the live stream today. I didn't know that they were going to do this, but um, after after the live stream, they, uh, the community manager lady person, um, she reached out and told me that <laughs> they had put a thousand gold on my account, and I was like, what? Did not, uh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were just going to do the live stream and stuff like that, and um, it had you know, helped support my channel and blah, 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 but... Uh, yeah, so I didn't see that coming. So I had I had like 600 or so gold that I had been saving up to buy an Ansel. And so um, I went ahead and grabbed that. This is, yeah, this, so this is my, I think, third round with the Ansel. And um, yeah, so it's uh, <laughs> it's been it's been interesting. It's only level three right now. And um, I feel like, I, I think it's fine in like higher tiers and stuff like that because like I... Like, I don't personally, like, struggle against them or anything. Um, but I, I think maybe for, like, the lower tier players and stuff like that, I think they might need to spread out um, the... Uh, oh, I thought that was, like, who's shooting at me? Um, I was trying to spread out... I, I think they might need to spread out, like, the, the regeneration rate or something like that. So it's a little bit slower in lower tiers or something like that. Um, so maybe I'll do a post tonight and see how you guys feel about that. Um... Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it needs a nerf like at higher levels or anything like that, but I think it definitely needs a nerf for like lower tiers and stuff. So maybe I'll post on Facebook and, and see what you guys think. I, I did post earlier and let you guys know that I, I got an Ansel and stuff like that, but um, I think we might need a follow-up post there. Because, um, yeah, I just I just like your opinion on that. So, any hoozles? Let's, uh... Man, we're, we're kind of... We're not winning. <laughs> And we're kind of struggling here. So that guy behind me, he's going to go grab that beacon anyway. He'll be closer to my spawn for when I respawn. And this beacon's already blue, so there's no point in chasing him down to get that one because then these guys will just turn this beacon right away. So if I can hold them off of this beacon, um, this beacon will stay blue for longer. <coughs> and then, yeah. 
So when I respawn, this guy should be in range over here. Yep, so he's in range. I'll just uh, start hitting him a little bit. And then I held those guys off of that beacon at least. I, I think if I had uh, if I had come this way with my, with my ants a lot, I think it would have just wasted time and we would have had less beacon bar. Um, but yeah, it, it probably was a close call anyway. Oh, almost got that kill. That's all right. So, okay. So let's start focusing on this guy. He's going to be the toughest uh, when he gets up close since I've, since I've got Tarans on here. So we'll just focus on him with the aphids a little bit here. And then uh, we'll turn focus to the Raijin here in a second. The tough part about this spawn point is that um, they have easy access to both of those beacons uh, straight in front of me over there. Um, they have, maybe I should look at this guy and aim instead of looking at beacons. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have easy access to those beacons over there, and they also have easy access to uh, to cut us off from them. Oh crap! I'm done. Let's see if we can just get a couple of Tehran blasts into into this guy here. Yeah, <laughs> didn't really do too much damage to him. That's one thing that's been really fun about running a Leo is they just have so much health. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyways, yeah, it's like it's really hard to get over there to those beacons when you spawn over here at this point because um, you have that entire row of stuff on that other side that uh, blocks you from getting over there. So this guy is probably who I ought to focus on because I think my teammate has mostly like rockets and stuff like that. Oh, no, he's got aphid Um uh, Let's see. Okay, he's popping out. So let's grab this guy really quick. We need that beacon back. So, all right, and then we got this guy here. I think I'll duck behind cover and let my Tehrans recharge for a second, and then I'm not just taking unnecessary damage. And then when I come back out, I can uh, still be doing really solid damage to him. There we go. All right, so let's grab this guy. We'll get the beacon back. I don't think we're gonna, I don't know that we're gonna be able to win this. So looks like we're three to three right now. Um, or three to four. Just had a guy drop in. Um, that's okay though. Um, I'll, I'll keep those punishers in and stuff. We'll see if I even post this round and stuff, but, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of one thing that's funny about, <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to an empty room anyways, and when I record like three rounds in a row, I repeat the same things a lot, like, uh, things that I, you know, want to talk to you guys about or make sure to talk to you guys about. Let's get this guy really quick. Um, and so, like, I, I wonder, like, if my wife's listening, like, he already said that. <laughs> Well, why is he saying that again? Like about the, the Ansel shield and stuff. Um, like the next couple rounds of record, I'll still I'll talk about that as well, and like I'll say, oh, maybe I'll post that on Facebook, and yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't look like we we're able to pull that in for a win, but I feel like it was a pretty solid round still. I think we grabbed like a billion and a half beacons, like, and uh, yeah, looks like a billion and a half, yeah, or six. It's basically the same thing. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, if you guys uh, check out my Facebook page, or I think I'll post this maybe in a couple minutes. I'm going to record a couple more rounds, and then i got to go have dinner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll post that on the Facebook page, or you guys can drop a comment here. Uh, let me know if you think they need to, um, I guess, stretch that out a little bit more. Um, the, the Ansel Shield, anyway. Um, if you think it should be regenerating a little bit slower at lower levels. Um, I just think it shouldn't, like, a level 3 item shouldn't be able to stand up um, to, like, level 12 weapons as well as it does. So... Um, I don't know, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, I know a lot of people disagree about stuff like that, but I'll post it on my Facebook page too tonight. Uh, it's Friday for me. I guess you guys probably won't see this until uh, Monday. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think and hope you guys have an amazing day.